People think they know everything. People need to stop thinking that they are the pinnacle of human knowledge. Like, it just really, this really pisses me off because people, they try to make it out to where their limited worldview, their limited knowledge is the end all be all and the pinnacle of what we know and what we can ever know what we can ever possibly know when it's not the fucking case you know people make it out to where their preconceived notions they make it out to where reality has to align with their preconceived notions when it's actually the antithesis your worldview has to align with reality and if it doesn't then it's bullshit it's false by definition because reality is objective. Your your preconceived notions, your confirmation bias, that's irrelevant. You can't make it out to where things that just you want to believe are fact. No, that's confirmation bias. You can't just cherry pick information to where it aligns with your already pre held preconceived notion. That's bullshit that's confirmation bias you know it's like people they try to make it out to where oh i don't know it so it must be false or it must be wrong or you know what i know and what i am asserting to be true is true by definition no, but you're making the assumption that you're the pinnacle of human fucking knowledge when you're fucking not. You're a fallible human being. You're not inerrant. Everything that you know, or everything that you want to think that is as fact, it's not. You can't just assert something dogmatically and think that it automatically makes it true. But then, this is the funny part. When scrutiny is applied to these notions, their entire premise, their entire apparatus for obtaining this notion, it just crumbles. It just crumbles. And then they get angry. They get angry, they get butt hurt. They get fucking butt hurt because their entire premise their entire apparatus of discerning fact from fiction is totally fallacious then this is when the cognitive dissonance kicks in because they don't want to believe that they are wrong about something they don't want to admit that they don't know something they don't want to admit that they're an, an erroneous human being they don't want to admit that they are fallible Right. And so. See, th this is the case, right? This is the thing. When I don't know something. You know what I say? I don't know. Sa when you don't know something, saying I don't know is the most intellectually honest answer you can possibly give. You know, what's not intellectually honest, you know, what's you know, deceitful and delusional when you don't know something but you pretend like you do when you don't know something and you know you don't know something but you're making up something you're intentionally making up shit just to fill in the gap of your human ignorance that is what i can't stand that is what irritates me because it's not critical thinking. It's not skepticism. It's not an accurate way, an accurate path to finding out truth. And it's really, it really pisses me off because, you know, a lot of people have this way of thinking and it's like, wow, you actually don't care about what's actually true. You actually you actually don't care about what's true. You just want to be within your realm of ignorance. You enjoy being willfully ignorant. 
you don't have the the intellectual integrity to admit that you don't know something and so you make up bullshit to fill up the gap of ignorance but see, whenever you admit that you don't know something, that's when your path to truth begins. Because if you think that you know something when you really don't, then why the hell would you continue to look for the truth if you think you already have it? But that's the thing, you don't. Because you're wrong. Just admit when you're wrong. When I'm wrong, I admit, yes, I was wrong. You know why? Because I'm intellectually honest with myself. I have the integrity and I have the, the self-assurance. Right? And I'm grounded in reality to where I actually want to know as many true things and as few false things as possible. But a lot of people, they don't have this mindset. They don't use critical thinking. They don't use skepticism. They don't use logic and reason. What they do use is fallacious reasoning, circular logic, confirmation bias, and they have cognitive dissonance. You know, they, they dogmatically assert these things, and then whenever you, whenever you debunk them using scientific evidence, you know, logic, reason, they come at you with these post hoc, you know, moving the goalpost fallacy and just bullshit reasoning just bullshit you know like how it's like you're literally playing mental gymnastics with yourself you're deluding yourself because you're not deluding me you're not deluding any critical thinker you're deluding yourself because deep down inside you know that you are wrong but your ego, your fucking ego can't accept that you're wrong. So you have to keep stretching and reaching to try to piece things together, to try to, you know, balance that equilibrium, get that equilibrium with you not knowing something and you, your ego not letting you admit that you don't know something. You know, that's so egotistical. That's so insecure just admit that you, that you don't know something your your limited view and your limited knowledge of the world is not the end all be all you know try to be try to actually question things and for the right reasons actually be a skeptic you know Believe things for the right reasons. Don't just go in with this already held notion and try to make everything align with that notion because that is not the correct, that is not the most accurate way to truth. In fact, that's not accurate at all way to truth. That's, that's not a way to truth. Right? That's just a way to stroke your ego. Oh, you, I, I'm so fucking, I know everything. Everything that I fucking know is with everything that, that can possibly be known because I'm so fucking intelligent. I'm so fucking better than every fucking body else. I'm better than science. I'm better than logic. I'm better than reason. I just defy fucking logic because I'm the big fucking shit. Well, sorry to burst your fucking bubble, but you're not the big fucking shit. You're a big pile of shit. You're full of shit. And you have this fallacious fucking reasoning so you know I just had to get this off of my fucking chest because this shit irritates me to no fucking end people walking around like they know everything and whenever they get debunked they can't admit that they were wrong they can't admit that they don't know something it's really sickening. It's disgusting that you actually don't care about what's actually true. You actually, you know, go around in the world asserting things that are not true and not based on any evidence whatsoever. But you don't even care. You don't even care. I mean, that's that's fucking that's bullshit, man. That's fucking bullshit.
fucking done, man.